All right, so now that I've made a couple scary videos about these super cheap Arduino Pro Mini clone boards from eBay and how the part on there, the AT Mega 328P, may be counterfeit. In my first video, I compared the part on this board to some genuine parts I had and showed that they can't hit the same performance specs. And then in my last video, I sent the part off to Sensible Micro where they professionally did a forensic analysis on the part and showed that it is likely counterfeit. The die just does not match a genuine part. But how do you know if the Pro Mini board you have is genuine or not? So I thought it would be cool to create some kind of simple Arduino sketch that just shows whether or not it's genuine. And I'm not sure if this is going to work on every Pro Mini out there, but uh, what I came up with is pretty cool. And you don't have to like test the low power capabilities or any of these other things. So just load the sketch, look at the serial output, and it should tell you if it's good or bad. So let me show you what I came up with. So really what I wanted this test sketch to be was just something that could read out some address in memory and tell you if it's real or not. You know, some kind of device ID or in the case of the AT Mega 328P, we do have these signature bytes and for the 328P you see, this should be 1E950F, and sure enough, with the counterfeit Pro Minis, or the suspiciously counterfeit Pro Minis, this does read out correctly uh, as you see it here, so that didn't work. But this did lead me down another path, which was, you know, I was looking uh, at this test code here, and this actually reads the signature bytes out, but also reads out a serial number uh, just at different locations using that same function, the boot signature byte get. And I looked this up here in the documentation, and you see you can read anything from these addresses, from 0 to hex 1F. So I decided to use that to just read everything out and see what we get. So we'll look at genuine parts as well as the suspiciously counterfeit Pro Minis and so let's see if there's any differences. But real quick, let me show you something else in the data sheet. So you see here it's showing you the signature row addressing and that's basically what we're doing. We're just gonna read all of the contents out from the signature row and you see here it's showing you the three signature uh, bytes there at zero to four and then the calibration byte at location one. All other addresses are reserved for future use. So we're reading them out anyway. We'd have no idea what they're used for, um, but would the counterfeiters actually copy that over as well? So let me show you what this looks like on a genuine part. We're going to hook this up here to a an AT Mega 328P date code 2020. Okay, so you see what's happening here in the code. It just loops through and just prints out everything from zero to one F and then uh, just creates a new line after eight readouts. So you see here at zero, two, and four, there's our one E, nine, five, and F, and then everything else in here pretty much is reserved for future use. But this is interesting, so I'm just gonna leave this the way it is, and now we're going to upload this same exact code to a Pro Mini, and I have one that was sent to me here. So this was from the same batch as the chip that I had tested previously and sent off to Sensible Micro. So there you have it. You see now the second dump there. This is with the Pro Mini. And it's very interesting. It's very different from the genuine readout. So you see the signature is right. We've got one E, nine, five, and F just as before. So the signature reads out fine. But everything else in here, even though it's reserved for future use, is different from the genuine part. And this has a date code of 2019, but of course we saw in the sensible micro uh, decap photos that the die is completely different. It's branded differently, it's from a different manufacturer, we don't know anything about it. So uh, definitely very suspicious. So if you wanted to, you could try this same code on your end. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but before we do that, let's try a couple other boards here. So here's another one that was sent to me. Uh, this is, I think, a different batch. It's got different markings. This one's from Thailand. And uh, it also is showing all of the Fs down below there. So that would also be considered something, you know, to watch out for anyway and potentially counterfeit. 
And then I happen to have a couple Pro Minis on hand as well. This one I got from, I don't know, it's labeled DIY Mall. Who knows where it came from? But it actually looks like a genuine part on there. So this is uh, a, an 18 Mega 328P with a date code of 2015. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So this one actually reads out very uh, close to the genuine part. So this one may be okay and have a real genuine uh, AT Mega 328. And then just for the heck of it here, I've got another AT Mega date, dated from uh, 2016. And this one is also genuine. And you see it here and it is reading out in a very similar way as the genuine part up above here, almost identically actually. So you see, of course, the signature is right, but even on the second line, some things are kind of lining up there. So anyway, this might be a decent test for you to try out on your Pro Minis if you're concerned at all, and maybe you're not seeing, you know, things working quite right. And uh, test it out and let me know in the comments below if this works for you. If you've got a couple Pro Minis laying around, try running this code and let me know what your dump is. And uh, maybe maybe this code will, will be good kind of universally for catching these Pro Minis. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.